how to torque head bolts on a 2.0 uh, neon single overhead cam. This is about a year 2000. And what we want to do is we're going to take this in steps. Uh, OEM specs are 20, 50, 50, and then a quarter turn. And then we also have to follow a torque sequence. And it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9, and 10. So it moves in a circular pattern going from the middle out. So we're going to do 20. Okay. Okay, get my wrench on there, set it 20. Okay, click. 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 And click. They're all set at 20 now. I'm going to reset. Okay, now I've reset my torque wrench to 50 uh, pounds foot torque. And I'm just going to go ahead and start here. Okay, when you torque bolts, you're supposed to do a slow, steady pull, and then it'll click when it finally reaches the specified torque. Okay, all the bolts have been torqued to 50, but they want you to do it twice, just to make sure everything's clamped down nice and straight. So we're going to go back over it, and it should just click. Let me try it again. Okay, covered all the bolts, they've all been torqued to 50 foot-pounds, pounds foot. And next step is to go another 90 degrees. You can use a degree wheel, which if you don't know what 90 degrees is, the degree wheel will work better for you. Uh, for me, 90 degrees is a quarter turn. So I'm going to set up my breaker bar. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate a couple of them here. Kind of difficult to do with one hand. Bless your he man. There's 90 degrees from where I started at. Bolt one done. Okay. Here we go again. Okay, there's 90 degrees on the second one. Okay, there's 90 
there's 90 degrees on that one. There's 90 degrees on that one. Gives you a good workout. Okay, I have to stand, change my position here. Um, but you get the idea. 90 degrees on all of them, and then the head is torqued.